Gates of Frost. What's that word? We have arrived at Bitterspine Palace, home of one of the Prince of Frost's vassals. You proceed with caution. Whether you're expected by the Baroness or not, the Prince of Frost's cold reputation is known throughout the Feywild. The Prince of Frost stands before a throne overlooking the crowded ballroom, the Baroness beside him. However, the third throne on the dais stands empty. The air chills as the Archfey points a finger toward you. Why have you disturbed me with your presence, Outlander? If I may, my prince, says the Baroness, a connection in the Summer Court sent word of the Outlander's arrival. I have granted them an audience with me. I assure you, they will not disturb the ball. You're told that Osha loathes extravagant parties such as this one. He's likely to be avoiding the crowd somewhere, perhaps out on the Windward Balcony. The head waiter will unlock the door to the treasure vault if you take care of an ice spider that the Prince of Frost conjured to keep sleepy waitstaff on their toes. As soon as you shut your eyes, you hear a cold chittering. The ice spider is already upon you. The ice spider shatters and dissolves into a snowy mist. Now that the creature has been destroyed, the head waiter will unlock the treasure vault for you. The door to the treasure vault is bolted shut. Perhaps one of the waitstaff knows how to get inside. Grateful that the ice spider is no longer around to nip his staff. Headwater gladly opens the door to the treasure vault. Water elements flood out of the treasure vault to confront the intruders. You hear a bell chime in the ballroom as you pull this lever. bell chime in the ballroom as you pull this lever. You notice a bizarre painting depicting the wintertide ballroom. To your surprise, you're able to step through it and into the ballroom itself. This door leads out to the windward balcony. From the dim gems on either side, prevent guests from following Usha outside. The court advisor stares off into the distance. The sound of your footsteps, he jokes, turns around, and lets out a dejected sound. Rosha stops at you, refusing to hand over the award Just as you open your mouth to reply, he attacks. Osha collapses to the floor. You grab the Aurora Garden key as he fades away. He'll wake up a little dazed from the plane of air. Without any hard feelings, you hope. You step out into the snowy garden. A peculiar patch of grass grows in its center, along with a flower that emanates a magical, chilly aura. The flower crumples away into nothing in the palm of your hand and instantly regrows in the soil. The newly sprouted flower glows blindingly for a moment, and, unexpectedly, a shockwave rocks the palace. To your surprise, the ballroom is now covered in twisting vines and familiar flowers. Why don't I have in this garden with the ladies? Now they're everywhere! Snarls the Prince of Frost. Outlander, we'll fix this. I'll turn you into a block of ice. Lady Lazuli informs you that there were only two Eladra nobles she didn't recognize in attendance tonight. She knows who can tell you more. Snowdrift, resident social butterfly of the Prince of Frost's court. 
Snowdrift tells you that Lord Beryl was last seen slinking off to the kitchen in search of a fresh bottle of wine. Then he shoes you out of his crowd of adoring <laughs> Lord Beryl says that Dame Allegra has gone to explore the Prince of Frost's quarters. Speaking with her is the next step in solving this plant puzzle. Adra Noble stands at the base of the stairs that lead to the Prince of Frost's quarters. This must be Dame Allegra, the mysterious newcomer you're looking for. Dame Allegra saw a hooded stranger plant the frosted cerise in the garden. She bids you to follow her there, so she can help you search for clues about the culprit. A frost giant snores on the floor of this chamber. Clearly, you didn't think anyone would dare to intrude in the Prince of Frost's private quarters. You find yourself in a surprisingly sparse chamber. But even in such a bare room, there must be something. A start on this In the way in this room stands a sculpture of a woman. Oh my love. In ice, you survive. The Prince of Frost had hidden a journal inside a sphere of ice. The journal details memories of his long-lost love, who died thousands of years ago. As you drop the journal, the Frost Giant bursts into the room, along with a squad of red cap guards. The Frost Giant collapses onto the floor with a heavy thud. Dame Allegra stands in the center of the garden. She lets out a low chuckle. Ah, oh, how did you like my little prank? <laughs> it was good fun. Riling up that gloomy prince always entertains my master here so much. Allegra transforms before your eyes. Recognize a new Trouble for the gatekeeper back in Stormreach. Happy to see me, dearie. Oh, it's a leaf for the last time. <laughs> I think that's enough taunting for one day. I let my pretty petals finish you off. With a mad cackle, she vanishes. <laughs> in her place, a shambling mound rises to attack. The mass of flowers and vines crumbles into ash, yet it leaves behind one last frosted cerise flower. You pluck the frosted cerise flower from the snow. This time, the bloom stays in the palm of your hand, instead of crumpling away.